Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using ChemCompute to do quantum chemistry calculations, um, specifically with regards to games. So ChemCompute is um, a website which acts as an interface to um, a bunch of different computational chemistry codes uh, without having to compile, install, or maintain the software yourself. You can submit jobs, you can do calculations. Uh, you can even do uh, calculations without registering. The registration is free. You get more resources if you have an educational or academic email, but um, you can still get access to other things, but just like, for example, uh, standard email addresses. So as I said, we'll be be particularly interested in using this for games. So games is, of course, the general atomic and molecular electronic structure system uh, from the Gordon Research Group at Iowa State University. So we already have uh, tutorials on how to install that on your computer if you want to. This is if you choose not to install it or you wish to um, make sure that you don't overload your computer or you don't uh, stretch your computer too far. So. Um, there's different other codes as well. There's some MD codes, there's Tinker, there's NAMD, um, and then there's also some other um, different tools like uh, Jupyter Hub and PSI4, which can be done used to uh, analyze data and run quantum calculations in Python. Um, so there's a few different um, external clusters. There's Jetstream, Expanse, and Bridges too. You won't be able to use any of these without registering, but um, they are available if you were to register. Okay, so we're going to go and click on games up here or here. You can click submit a job. So it brings up a new web page, which is the games submit web page. So there's a tab here on background information. So this will tell you a little bit about uh, Camp Compute in its own. There's submit guided. So you can search by name for the water. Uh, or from a previous job, you can read the geometry file there, or you can even draw it over here um, in a stick diagram. Uh, you can also uh, draw it using JSMOL, um, which should pop up after you have uh, written your 2D molecule here. And then further down, you can see the parameters for the quantum chemical calculation. Now, some of these... Um, for example, the amount of memory that can be used, the number of processors, the computer cluster. These are all um, limited right now because we haven't registered. But um, in any case, you can still do a calculation without registering. Then submit your own file. So this is where you've created an input file on your own computer or at home, or you've created one here through the submit uh, guided approach. And then you can choose your package. You can also choose the computer cluster again, um, limited to only one core and one hour uh, calculations while you have not registered. So I really do recommend that you register if you feel comfortable. Um, and then of course you can find your results here. So we don't have any results because we haven't actually submitted a job yet. Um, so here it's given us a summary, just sort of a, uh, well, I guess this is um, a sample. So we can also look at the different orbitals. So they go, it can visualize orbitals here as well, which is really nice. Um, and we can also do uh, like, for example, there's FDIR, um, the peaks here, okay. So uh, as I said, I recommend that we register. So if you go up to the top right, you can click register. Um, if your university is CI login um, registered, then you can automatically log in with your university uh, here. You can also create a Gmail, but of course it says here minimal resources granted. It will be more than not registering, but it won't be as much as um, with an academic um, email. So over here, if you have, if you're not CI login um, enabled, or you don't want to use Google, but you want to use your own academic email, uh, you can fill it up here. So the choose your username that you wish to use, the email, which hopefully is your academic email, so like a .edu or something like that. I would contact them if they don't recognize your email as being uh, academic. Then uh, generate a password um, or type your own password there. And then of course you must accept the uh, license policy and then continue to do the sign up 
through that. So I'm going to log in. I already have um, a Camp Compute user account. So um, I'm going to log in with that and we'll be back. Okay, so now that we have um, registered, uh, we now have more options. For example, in the computer cluster, we now have Expanse and Bridges 2, um, which enables us to make use of more uh, memory, also longer uh, time limits, and also more processing cores. So that will hopefully enable us to do uh, more complicated calculations. So uh, I'm going to go through the submit guided. Um, so let's look for water. Um, so we go, so there's the water molecule. Um, then we can click next. So we can choose uh, the parameters for the quantum chem mechan quantum mechanical calculation. So we use games, input file water. There's no need for comment. The charge is zero. It's a neutral molecule, multiplicity of one. Um, so doing a geometry optimization add-ons, we can include FDIR, thermodynamics, even do UV vis, NMR, Raman, and so on. Um, so we'll do IR first, basis set, we'll just stick with a relatively uh, simple one, a Gaussian basis set. Uh, RHF is fine for this multiplicity one water molecule. Um, the TFT functional, we don't have one yet, so let's just use B3lib, why not? Um, can solve it in water, we'll, we'll say that it's a water molecule in water. Computer cluster bridges, we'll change the number of cores to eight. Uh, 16 gigabytes of memory, six hours, it shouldn't take that long. Um, we can, of course, edit the input file uh, if we want. We won't do it though this time. Um, so submit job. Uh, so it creates an input file for us, which we can make use of. Um, then it's brought me to the real time output. So this should happen pretty quickly. It should give me the output fairly fast. It does not find the output just yet, but um, it will in time. Um, we can do a similar process then as well later on for the um, personalized job or the one where we upload our own input file. So um, I'll come back whenever this is finished and we can analyze it. Okay, so the calculation has successfully completed um, on Bridges 2. Um, it's taken not a lot of time at all, uh, which is really nice. So we can scroll down here and we can see a little bit of information on the geometry optimization of the water molecule. So similar to looking at games output in, for example, WX Mac Mole Plot, and we get a list of orbitals um, and we can see um, our vibrations as well. That's from a Hessian calculation. We can have a look at the different um, uh, homos and lumos. Um, this is the LUMO, you can see there. Um, we can look at the HOMO. Oh, okay. So we can change the cutoff for that. So it makes it smaller and smaller and smaller, or you can make it bigger and bigger and bigger. You can make it solid, we can make it mesh, and so on. Um, we can also have a look at the AIR spectra uh, just over here. And there we go. So we can see the water band. We can see the symmetric and asymmetric stretches. Okay. So that's the output. You can also save this, um, the output file here, um, by downloading the output file. So you just click on that and it will download. There we go. Water output has been downloaded. Um, we can also download the input file if you wished, like so. Um, so then, then those can be visualized, of course, in an alternative visualizer. So then say we want to submit our own files. Um, we would browse our, um, computer for a file. So there's one I created earlier, which is methane. So submit a job, um, submit your own files, browse, methane, open, um, so it's, it's loaded the file there, methane.inp. Then we can choose our different computer clusters and give it different time limits, um, just as we did with the guided approach. So we're gonna click submit, and then we could submit our job like so. And then um, we can just then see the output. So no output has been found, and we'll just come back to that as and when that has been completed. So this has been completed. 
um, the output file has been shown here. We can, of course, download the output file if we wish. Um, we can then also visualize the optimized geometry here. We can even label partial charges and so on. Um, we can also have a look at the orbitals as they're present, much the same as we did for this, the guided job. Um, we don't have any IR information here because we didn't submit it as a Hessian in the input file. Um, that wasn't specified. Um, but if we had have had a Hessian input, then that would have come out as we wished. We can, of course, even write an SCL for 3D printing, which is really nice. Um, so that's kind of a basic use guide on how to make use of um, Chem Compute. Um, so please make sure to register so that you can get full access and all of that information. So thank you for watching this. I hope it's been useful. Maybe in the future, we'll do other Chem Compute tutorials so that you can get full use out of this wonderful resource. So thank you for watching. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for future notifications on future videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.